Layer 2 Scaling Solutions for Ethereum. You want to find out more? Let's dive in right here. Hello everyone, my name's Liam. I'm a content creator over here at Collective Shift, where we try and unlock your wealth and financial freedom by giving you the most up-to-date content in the crypto industry at this moment. Let's get started on this video. This video, we're gonna be talking about Ethereum Layer 2s. I'm gonna be covering three major topics here. Number one, what is an Ethereum Layer 2 in the first place? Number two, how do you differentiate between all of them? Because there are quite a few Layer 2 scaling solutions. And then number three, we're gonna have a quick look at the top Layer 2 scaling solutions for Ethereum at the moment. And hint, hint, Optimism, Arbitrum are the top ones at the moment. Before we keep going, make sure you like and subscribe the video for this great content that we try and keep everyone up to date over at the Collective Shift platform. Make sure you check out the link in the description for the trial code for the Collective Shift platform. Let's dive in, shall we? So we start today by looking at what is an Ethereum layer two. Before we get to understanding layer twos, we have to understand Ethereum first. Ethereum is a super massive highway with lots of cars, trucks, uh, motorcycles, airplanes, and helicopters going around everywhere. People are sending transactions. People are minting NFTs, buying and selling NFTs. People are doing on-chain transactions every single minute, every hour. It's a very, very busy place. Because of this, the gas fees, the cost to actually use the network does go up. Okay, people get upset because the gas fees, it costs too much to transact on this network because other people are happy to pay a much higher fee to transact on the network. The guy in the helicopter or the airplane who's transferring a million dollars is happy to pay $20 or even $100 while the guy on the motorcycle cannot pay $100 for his small delivery of Ethereum. If you kind of understand this, this is what everyone in crypto, everyone in Ethereum especially, is very upset about. Because of this, it leads to people moving to a layer 2 scaling solution or a non-EVM chain such as Solana with high transaction output and high transaction and low transaction fees. So before you get to do this, you have to understand that Ethereum has a scaling trilemma. They have, this is called the trilemma in all of crypto. Every other blockchain has to experience this trilemma. Basically in one corner, you have the scalability issue. On one corner, you have the decentralization issue. And on the other side, you have the security issue. The trilemma basically explains is that you have to decrease one of these uh, points of friction, one of these points of contact to increase the other. To decrease or to increase decentralization, you sometimes have to sacrifice scalability. If you want to increase security, you might have to decrease decentralization or decrease scalability. This is the blockchain trilemma. Some blockchains have tried to try their hardest to try and figure this out. In Ethereum's case, they are pivoting to the layer two scaling solutions. Let's have a look at some of them here. This is how we get to this giant graph with lots of different layer two scaling solutions on Ethereum. We have ZK rollups, optimistic rollups, sidechains, validium, state channels, plasma chains, and hybrid solutions. There are a lot of different projects in the space that think they have a way to tackle this issue, right? From ZK rollup, we have loop ring, ZK Sync, uh, Matter Labs, and Starkware. Optimistic rollups, you might have heard of Optimism, which we have done another video over here at Collective Shift about. Offchain Labs is responsible for Arbitrum. These are the top Ethereum layer two scaling solutions. Now, let's move on to our next topic, which is what are the differences between these layer twos? It can be very confusing. So here is where it starts getting a little bit technical. So I'm sorry if this does get a bit too technical. I try to bring it down to everyone's level so that we can all have a general understanding of some of these major complicated topics. Now, I don't want you to look at me like this guy being all confused. Make sure you come to the Collective Shift platform and try and find out more about this. Come and speak to us over at the platform so we can all understand what's happening in Ethereum layer two. Let's start off with a video that I made previously using L2Beat. L2Beat is a great website to try and show you and uh, make you understand some of the differences between these layer two scaling solutions. But first, let's cut to a graphic. There are many potential L2 solutions, each of which has unique benefits and trade-offs. Here are some of the predominant ones. State channels, rollups, and plasma. State channels improve blockchain performance by moving state modifying operations off chain. These are similar to the concept of payment channels in Bitcoin's Lightning Network. But instead of only being limited to payments, it supports general state updates. They simply minimize the use of on chain operations reserved only for the necessary operations. To contextualize this, imagine an example where you deposited funds into a contract and signed state updates representing the running scores of a basketball game. 
When the game is finished, only the final outcome would be broadcast to the Ethereum network, helping dApps to move transactions off-chain and increasing the usefulness of the network. Projects currently working on state channel solutions include Raiden Network and Connex. Rollups. Rollups refer to solutions which bundle sidechain transactions into a single transaction, hence the name Rollup, which generates a cryptographic proof. In its simplest forms, it means all state and execution is handled in sidechains, with Ethereum's L1 only storing transaction data. They are useful for reducing fees, creating open participation, and creating fast transaction throughput. For example, they can increase the throughput of a blockchain from 15 TPS transactions per second to more than 1,000. There are two kinds of L2 rollups, each with different security models, zero knowledge proofs, ZK, and optimistic rollups. ZK rollups use a validity proof, meaning the smart contract can verify all of the transfers from the bundling of hundreds of transfers off chain. This can be useful as you don't need all the transaction data to verify it, just the proof. Projects building using ZK rollups, Loopring, Matter Labs, ZK Sync, and Starkware. Optimistic rollups do not do any computation by default, instead, are assumed to be valid by default. Users only submit fraud proofs if they see any mathematically verifiable misbehavior. As computation is a slow, expensive part of using Ethereum, optimistic rollups can offer up to 10 to 100x improvements in scalability dependent on the transaction. Projects using optimistic rollups, Optimism, Off Chain Labs, which are Arbitrum, and Fuel Network, as well as Cartesi. And lastly, we have Plasma. Plasma is a framework for creating scalable dApps on the blockchain. They can create smaller blockchains, which are connected to the main blockchain via a smart contract. Dapps then run via these smaller mini blockchains, greatly lowering the strain on the main network. The communication between these mini blockchains and the main chain are secured by fraud proofs, with the main chain responsible for securing the network and punishing the malicious actors. Some projects using Plasma, OMG, Raiden Network, and Loom Network. Let's move on to our third point, which is comparing some of the top Ethereum layer 2 scaling solutions. Over here at DeFi Llama, you can look at some of the EVM compatible chains and look at the total value locked, which is the TVL. Now we know the TVL isn't the best metric to try and measure some of these blockchains because the TVL can be gamed in some way. We can look here at the Ethereum total value locked, which is how much money is on the chain, is nearly $31 billion. Zoom in over there so you can see. Nearly $31 billion over there. Now we can look at the next kind of Scaling solutions. Polygon is a type of scaling solution, but it is its own entity. We have Arbitrum and Optimism following very closely. We can look at the TVL of Arbitrum is only $1 billion or 982 million. Compare this to Ethereum at 31 billion. So it is nearly 1 30th of the amount of money in the chain. Optimism as well is near Arbitrum at nearly $1 billion. So comparison to TVL wise, these guys are the same. Optimism and Arbitrum are the top two scaling solutions. Let's go ahead and look at Dune Analytics because they have a lot more information for us. Dune Analytics is an analytics website that lets you compare lots of different things. We can look over here in Arbitrum. This is the Ethereum layer 2 statistics for Arbitrum, Optimism, ZK Sync and StarkNet. Looking at the bridges of Arbitrum, and a bridger is any wallet that has taken funds from an Ethereum layer one and gone over to Ethereum layer two using a bridge. They had to take it across, cross the bridge. We can see how many wallets have done this. 386,000 wallets or people have bridged into Arbitrum. Into Optimism, 249,000 people have bridged or wallets have bridged into um, Optimism. Looking at ZK Sync, 388,000 wallets have bridged into ZK Sync. And into StarkNet, we have 31,000. So StarkNet has the least amount of bridges at the moment. Who has the highest? It seems ZK Sync has the highest amount of bridges. So we can see these are the wallets or the people who have bridged over, but what about how much money they have bridged over into an Ethereum layer 2, Optimism, Arbitrum, ZK Sync? Priced in Ethereum, we can see Arbitrum has bridged nearly 2 million in Ethereum. 1,910,000 Ethereum has been bridged into Arbitrum. Looking at Optimism, only 409,000, nearly uh, one quarter of the amount of ETH has actually bridged into Optimism. 
Looking at ZK Sync, 167,000 Ethereum has bridged over. And looking at Starknet, only 1,403 Ethereum has bridged over. So you can see here that Arbitrum absolutely has the most amount of Ethereum that has been bridged into it. This is a significant factor if you want to find out. So we saw the TVL saying both of them had the same amount of money. Uh, in currently in them, but people have bridged a lot more into Arbitrum because they bridge in and bridge out, bridge in and bridge out. Now let's look at another metric by Markov, layer two adoption. We can look at the comparison between Ethereum layer one and Optimism and Arbitrum because these two are the major ones at the moment. We can look at the dominant usage. You can see Ethereum uses 95.8% of uh, dom just transaction count while Optimism holds 1.9 and Arbitrum holds 2.3. So Arbitrum is winning slightly here. Let's go ahead and look at another metric, shall we? Transactions per chain. You can see that the transactions per chain um, is Ethereum 80%. Optimism 9.9% and Arbitrum 9.5%. And you can see some of these other solutions here. So layer two dominant usage, uh, layer two users per chain, as well as the layer two transactions per chain. This is incredible. So at the moment, I would say the top chains for you to use in Ethereum layer two are Optimism, Arbitrum, ZK Sync, and Starknet. Now, guys, I want to remind you, Optimism does not have a token yet, so please go ahead, get involved into the chain so that it's possible you can get an airdrop coming soon. ZK Sync as well does not have a token, and I think one is coming very, very soon. All right, my friends. So that's been a little bit about the different scaling solutions on Ethereum. These are the layer two scaling solutions. We got ZK Rollups, Optimistic, Sidechains, Plasma, State Channels, Validium, and Hybrid Solutions. In this video, I talked a little bit about number one, what actually is a layer two. It can be slightly confusing sometimes, so there it is worthwhile trying to study and dedicate some time to this, especially if you are a crypto enthusiast. Number two, we differentiated between a few of these different layer two scaling solutions. And number three, we found the top L2 solutions, which are Optimism, Arbitrum, and ZK Sync and Starkware. I'm going to give you an action right now. I want you to go ahead and get involved in these layer two scaling solutions. Find the appropriate people on Twitter, go to their blockchains, bridge across to their blockchains, and use the decentralized applications on there. Some of them are really incredible and very powerful. So I've got two questions for you, my friends. Which layer two did you actually use? Did you use any? Have you used them? Which one do you like the most? And number two, does the tech matter to you? Some people say, no, it doesn't matter. All I care about is sending a really fast and cheap transaction. I don't care how it's built. Some people do. I want to find out in the comments section below let me know please now before we go make sure you like and subscribe to the collective shift platform we try to give you the most up-to-date uh, crypto inf information every week we try our best to give you as much as we can this has been metaverse explorer over at the collective shift platform and make sure you check the link in the description for the discount code to the platform i will see you very soon after you check out some of these other videos we have